here we go with another engine power tech tip. And today we're going to be discussing more cam stuff and mixing in a little ignition timing. Now, last time we went over the cam card, we discussed some basics of lift and duration. This time we're going to be discussing lobe separation and what it means. Lobe separation is the amount of degrees between the intake lobe center line and the exhaust lobe center line. Now this is the only measurement on the cam card that is measured in camshaft degrees, not crankshaft degrees. And why is that? The camshaft moves at exactly half the speed of the crankshaft. For instance, if I rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees, the camshaft only moved 180. Like Mike mentioned, this is what lobe separation looks like. It's the distance in degrees from the center line of the intake and exhaust lobes, and it's an important aspect of camshaft design. Lobe separation directly influences overlap, and overlap is the amount of degrees between the exhaust valve closing and the intake valve opening, meaning both valves are slightly open at the same time. Well, what does this mean and why would you want that? Well, it creates a scavenging effect on naturally aspirated engines, helping to fill the cylinder on the upcoming intake stroke. The smaller number or tighter the lobe separation is, the more overlap the camshaft will have. And that is usually in a range of 102 to 110 degrees of lobe separation. On the opposite side, the wider the lobe separation, the less overlap that the camshaft has. And that is in a range of 111 to over 120 degrees of lobe separation. Now, some camshafts have no overlap, but those are usually reserved for computer controlled vehicles, forced induction applications, and high end, high RPM race engines. That information is supplied by some manufacturers as a lobe separation number. Now other manufacturers don't put it on the cam card at all, but the information is still there. You just have to know how to decipher it. They provide the intake and exhaust center line at the lobe's maximum lift, which on this camshaft is 110 on the intake, 116 on the exhaust. You just add these two numbers together, which is 226, then divide them by two. This particular camshaft has a lobe separation of 113 degrees. We hope this gets you a little more comfortable and a little more familiar with your cam card. And we mentioned mixing in some ignition timing. Well, what does that have to do with camshafts? Well, everything, because it determines your firing order. And in the future, we'll discuss standard firing orders versus firing order swaps for performance engines. And as for time, well, we're out of it. We'll see you next week.